everyone, welcome back. My name is Elisa and with me here is Pesto on our Giving Zoo Day. Um, and Pesto is one of our uh, youngest education ambassador animals. He is a striped skunk and uh, we're just going to talk a little bit about him and some of the things that he likes to play around with. This is called a puzzle feeder where we uh, stick food and hide it in a certain way so that he has to actually work for his food to try and be like a real skunk out in the wild where they have to search for their food. Um, skunks are called opportunistic omnivores. So they're gonna be eating anything and everything that they can get their little hands on. Obviously we don't feed him everything and anything here at the zoo. He gets a very well-balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, and protein. Um, but this helps him to keep his mind occupied and it helps him to get exercise as well. I'm going to have him finish a couple of these snacks and then I'm going to have you guys watch a little bit of a training demonstration with him. So Pesto is target trained, crate trained, and is currently being harness trained. So this is called a target stick. This is what we use. We want him to touch his nose to the end of the purple ball. And then I use something called a clicker and that is his bridge. That, no, that tells him that he did what I wanted him to do and then I give him a reward. So we use something called positive reinforcement with our training in our animals. So once they conduct a behavior that we are looking for, they are rewarded for that behavior. And one of the most important objects in his training is, of course, his crate. Crate! So Pesto and Elisa are just going to demonstrate a few of those little behaviors. As you can see, Pesto really likes going in his crate. And then he is going to come over and touch that target and get some snacks. Crates are actually an item that we really do need here at the zoo, especially for our ambassador animal collection, because their job is to go off site, go into different areas of the zoo and meet people and help us to teach educational programs. So unfortunately, it would not be very safe for us to just let Pesto wander around the zoo and, and have to walk on his own from place to place. And he certainly can't just ride around in the back seat of a car. So these crates are used, and he's showing you guys this crate right here. These crates are used to transport them safely. And so as Elisa said, part of Pesto's initial training was to establish that crate as a really positive place, a place he knows he can go as a safe place where he knows he can go to get a reward. And this is really great because when we use our educational animals to teach, we want them to be voluntarily coming out and participating in their programs and of course in their care as well. So crates like this, this is just a kennel, a small dog kennel. We can use medium to small size for all different kinds of animals such as pesto. We also use them for our opossum, our chinchillas, our rabbits. So we need crates to, uh, to carry around many of our different animals for their educational ambassador programs. We can also use them of course, in emergency situations. So that's another reason they're very, very important. If we need to transport Pesto to safety, if we need to evacuate, we need those crates as well. So if you guys would like to help Pesto and his ambassador friends, you can check out our Amazon wish list and uh, potentially help us out with getting some new crates. We can also, you can also visit our support page at elmwoodparkzoo.org to check out other ways you can help Pesto and his furry scaly and feathery friends. So as he's finishing up some of his snacks, Pesto actually came to us in May of this year and he was only a few months old and we've been working with him very diligently every day to make sure he learns these different behaviors and gets used to meeting new people. Now unfortunately right now he hasn't been able to come out for big groups just because of the way we're doing things, but he has been helping with distance learning. So if you or someone you know is you know, switching over to online education and you guys are interested in learning more about Pesto or our other ambassador animal friends, you can check out our distance learning on our website as well and you might get to meet him up close. And part of that encounter might include watching him use that very strong sense of smell and those claws to find his snacks. 
and just general information about skunks because while many people unfortunately have a bad idea of skunks because of that stinky smell, they're actually really valuable animals in our neighborhood. All right, so we'll say goodbye to Elisa and Pesto. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Check out our support page and check back to Facebook in about half an hour to meet some more of our animals here at Elmwood Park Zoo.